Brace yourselves for the mind-blowing journey into the future. We are discovering Gemini, Google's latest AI marvel, which is set to redefine our world. Let's find out together. Gemini, short for Generalized Multimodal Intelligence Network, is Google's latest leap into the field of artificial intelligence. Unlike traditional AI models designed to handle one type of data, Gemini is a multimodal intelligence network capable of simultaneously processing multiple types of data and tasks. For example, Gemini can generate text and images within Google apps like Docs and Sheets, adding depth and clarity to your ideas. This feature is Duet AI in Workspace and Gemini's foundation model powers it. A foundation is a large-scale AI model that can be fine-tuned and adapted for various applications and domains. Google's current foundation model is Palm 2, which powers many AI services including the Bard chatbot and Duet AI in Workspace apps like Google Docs. Gemini is Google's next-generation foundation model, which is expected to rival OpenAI's ChatGPT4 enterprise platform. Gemini is currently still in training mode and is planned to be publicly released in December 2023. Gemini is trained on Google's state-of-the-art TPU V5e chips, optimized for large language models like Gemini. These chips can be connected to form a supercomputer that can handle complex computational challenges. Google also offers its enterprise cloud customers access to its TPU V5e chips and other AI models from Meta platforms and Anthropic. Gemini is also designed to be integrated with various tools and APIs and to accommodate future developments such as improved memory and planning. One of the tools that Gemini enables in SynthID, which can watermark AI-generated images in a subtle way that is invisible to the human eye but resistant to tampering. Another tool that Gemini facilitates is the porting of databases from Oracle to open source versions using an AI-powered tool that simplifies this notoriously challenging process. Google has also secured new partnerships with companies like General Motors and Estee Lauder, as well as the government of El Salvador, to showcase its AI capabilities and services. Gemini is Google's latest innovation in artificial intelligence, and it seems to have a lot of potential. However, it faces competition from other AI models and platforms, such as OpenAI's ChatGPT4, Microsoft's Bing, and Anthropic's Claude. It remains to be seen how Gemini will perform in the real world and its impact on society. A cornerstone innovation that sets Gemini apart in artificial intelligence is its adept handling of multimodal data, representing a significant leap forward in AI capabilities. Gemini can extract features from different types of data and combine them to create new kinds of data. Gemini can also create a magazine article with text, images, and layout based on a topic. Gemini's ability to handle multimodal data enables it to perform previously impossible or difficult tasks for AI systems. Another key feature of Gemini AI is its use of reinforcement learning, which allows the model to learn from its actions and feedback. Reinforcement learning enables Gemini to improve its performance and adapt to new situations without human supervision or intervention. For example, Gemini can learn from its own mistakes and correct them in future interactions. Gemini can also learn from user preferences and goals and tailor its responses accordingly. Reinforcement learning also allows Gemini to explore new domains and tasks that has not been explicitly trained on. A Convolutional Neural Network CNN, is an artificial neural network that can learn from and process images and other types of data with a spatial structure. A neural network is a collection of interconnected units called neurons which can perform simple computations and pass information to each other. A neural network can learn from data by adjusting the strength of the connections between the neurons called weights. A CNN comprises multiple layers, each performing a specific operation on the input data. The input data can be an image, a video, a sound, or any other type of data with a spatial structure. The output of one layer becomes the input of the next layer until the final layer produces the desired output, such as a prediction or a classification. A CNN can also use a loss function, such as cross entropy or mean squared error, which measures how well the CNN performs on the data. A CNN can also use a regularization technique, such as L2 regularization or dropout, which prevents overfitting and improves generalization. A CNN is particularly well suited for image recognition and processing tasks because it can capture the spatial structure and hierarchy of features in images. A CNN can learn from raw pixels without requiring manual feature engineering or pre-processing. A CNN can also handle different sizes and orientations of images by using padding and stride parameters in the convolutional layer and pooling layer. A CNN can achieve state-of-the-art performance on various image recognition tasks such as object classification, object detection, face recognition, image segmentation, image generation, and more. Vision Transformer, VIT, and Follow Anything AI 
FAN, are both related to the field of computer vision, which is a branch of artificial intelligence that deals with processing and understanding visual data, such as images and video. VIT is a type of model that can recognize and classify objects in images, while FAN is a type of system that can detect, track, and follow any object in real time using multimodal queries. VIT stands for Vision Transformer, which is a model that adapts the transformer architecture, originally designed for natural language processing, to vision tasks. A transformer model uses attention mechanisms to capture the relationships between different parts of the input data, such as words in a sentence or patches in an image. A VIT model consists of an encoder that transforms the input image into a sequence of feature vectors and a classifier that predicts the label of the image based on the feature vectors. A VIT model can learn from large-scale data sets of images and achieve state-of-the-art performance on various image recognition tasks such as object classification, object detection, and image segmentation. A FAN stands for Follow Anything, a system combining a camera, a robot, and a user interface to enable users to select and follow any object in real time using text, images, or clicks. FAN uses rich visual descriptors from large-scale pre-trained models such as Dino for images and Clip for text to match multimodal queries against an input image sequence. FAN can segment objects by applying a segmentation model, SAM, or getting suggested masks from a tracker, SIAM mask. From the given queries, FAN can then classify each mask to what object it refers to. The FAN can also redetect objects by comparing the tracked objects stored features with the current mask's features. FAN can be deployed on a laptop with a lightweight graphics card, achieving a throughput of 6 to 20 frames per second. FAN has been demonstrated on a real-world robotic system, a micro-aerial vehicle, and has shown its ability to seamlessly follow the objects of interest in a real-time control loop. VIT and FAN are connected in the sense that they both use deep learning models to process visual data and extract features from them. VIT uses transformer models to encode images into feature vectors, while FAN uses uses pre-trained models such as Dino and Clip to extract visual descriptors from images. VIT and FAN can benefit from large-scale datasets of images and labels to learn from. However, VIT and FAN also have some differences in their goals and applications. VIT aims to recognize and classify objects in images, while FAN aims to detect, track, and follow objects in real time. VIT is mainly used for offline tasks such as image classification or image retrieval, while FAN is mainly used for online tasks such as object tracking or robot control. The FAN is an open vocabulary and multimodal system, which means that it is not restricted to concepts seen at training time and can be applied to novel classes at inference time using text, images, or click queries. FAN leverages rich visual descriptors from large-scale pre-trained models, foundation models, to match multimodal queries against an input image sequence. FAN can detect and segment objects by assigning the mask whose feature descriptor is closest to the query feature descriptor. FAN can also track the detected objects across image frames, all while accounting for occlusion and object re-emergence. FAN can also redetect the objects by comparing the stored features with the current features of the masks. FAN can enable new applications that can assist users in different domains. Duet AI, a conversational agent that can chat with users on any topic and provide relevant information, suggestions, and feedback. Duet AI can also generate text and images within apps like Google Docs and Sheets to help users with their ideas and projects. Help Me Write, a writing assistant that can help users write tasks such as essays, reports, emails, and stories. It can provide suggestions, corrections, and improvements based on the user's goals and preferences. It can also generate original content based on the user's input or topic. Med Gemini, a medical assistant that can diagnose diseases, prescribe treatments, and monitor health conditions using multimodal data such as symptoms, images, and lab results. MedGemini can also provide health advice and education to users based on their queries or needs. SecGemini, a security assistant that can detect and prevent cyber attacks, frauds, and scams using multimodal data such as network traffic, emails, and messages. SecGemini can also provide security tips and alerts to users based on their online activities or risks. 
As we uncover the incredible potential of Google's latest AI, Gemini, one thing is certain, the future has never looked more exciting. How will this impact life? In the comments below. And if you're excited as we are, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the AI revolution. But for now, get ready for the revelation that could reshape the future in unimaginable ways. Stay tuned.